Okay, I'm going to the gym. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Bye. Bye. Hey, these are my 1966 Acoustic Research AR2AX loudspeakers. And aren't they nice? Let's take a bit of a closer look at these babies. Now they've been recently restored so the wood looks real nice and they have new linen on the front grills. Now originally these were glued on very solidly so they had to be pried off very carefully. When you take the grills off, these speakers really lose their looks. They're very rough underneath. They didn't even bother painting the baffle here at the bottom. You can see here in the middle of the baffle remnants of where there was some very strong cement that held the grills on. And when they were pried off, left behind marks. Look at this tweeter. The thin wires that go down to the terminals here are covered up with black electrical tape that makes them look really homemade, but it was definitely factory. There's no way I could tell the whole story of acoustic research in this brief video, but here are some bits and pieces. The company was founded by Edgar Vilcher in the 1950s while he was a professor at New York University where he taught a course called Reproduction of Sound. In 1954, the AR1 loudspeaker was introduced and was an immediate hit with critics and the general public. The genius of its sealed acoustic suspension design was that a smaller speaker could faithfully reproduce sound at louder volumes with less distortion. The AR2AX model like mine was introduced in 1964 and it had a major component upgrade in 1970. If I turn it around and look at the back, you can now see a couple of labels stuck on. The top one is a warranty card and the bottom one is a little instruction label to tell you how to use them. And one of the things that tells you how to use are these potentiometers and they turn the volume of the mid-range and the tweeter up and down so you can make some fine adjustments. If you ever come across old AR speakers of this vintage, you're very likely going to have to replace the potentiometers because they're prone to corrosion and the corrosion could affect their performance. You can buy replacements online and they're not too hard to install. From their factory based in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Acoustic Research made a wide range of speakers over the years and even successfully branched out into turntable design. AR were known for their innovative marketing techniques. They even put a speaker showroom in Grand Central Station in New York City. People could go there and listen to music while they waited for the train. Over the years, these speakers had several revisions. And in a way, I'm lucky. I've got the original models with the cloth surrounds. Later on, they replaced these with a foam surround that always disintegrated after a couple decades. Now, here's something you don't see very often anymore. Speakers laying on their sides. But back in the 60s, this is a very common way to listen. Edgar Vilcher eventually sold the company to Teledyne Technologies, who kept the AR name and continued to make high-quality speakers for a number of years. He went on to a very successful career developing numerous patents for hearing aid devices. I find that to be somewhat fitting considering all the people who probably suffered hearing loss listening to his speakers for years. AR changed hands a few times over the subsequent decades, and just going by their website, today they are a maker of horrible looking outdoor Bluetooth speakers. Once again, a sad ending to a once amazing company.
This isn't really the end of the acoustic research story. I plan to talk about some of the people he worked with in future videos who also became legends in the audio world. As you can see, the speaker on the left is definitely a shade darker than the one on the right, which leads me to believe they were made at different times and then paired up later. So after all this, people are probably asking, well, how do they sound? I think they sound fantastic. Smooth highs, very nice mid-range, decent low frequency response, a little dated, a little vintage in their tone, but I believe most people would be very happy to own a pair of restored Acoustic Research 2AX loudspeakers. So these are definitely keepers and they're going into my speaker rotation as soon as possible. I'm back. Oh, hi, how was your workout? It was good. Hey, are these new speakers? What do you mean new speakers? I don't think I've seen them before. No, I've, I've had these for months. What are you talking about? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Hmm.